Discover the artful grace, the physical conditioning, the mental toughness, the sheer power that is karate. Karate Master, beginning karate at its best. And now meet your black belt instructors. Two-time national champion, Pat Worley, and four-time world champion, Gordon Franks. Gordon and I are real excited about this opportunity to get you involved in the art of karate. Keep in mind that karate is both an art form and a personal improvement vehicle. It's not to be used as a tool to bully another person. This is very important. The only time you should ever use karate on another person is if they are attacking you or seriously threatening you. If you ever misuse what you learn on this tape, you dishonor yourself, you dishonor us as your instructors and the art of karate. Remember that this tape is designed to teach you the beginning basics of karate. It by no means teaches you everything that you need to know, but it will get you started in the right direction. As with any new task, you may find it difficult and frustrating at first. This is normal. The frustration is part of your learning experience, and I want you to work through that. Set a strong commitment to practice this tape twice a week for two months, and at the end of two months, you will master the basic skills of karate. Two more quick points. Karate Master is divided into three sections. Warm-up exercises, basic technique, and application. I want you to watch Gordon as he goes through the proper mechanics of each technique. Then I want you to practice along with the class and myself. Now let's get started. If your VCR has a counter, zero it here. That way you'll always be cued to the start of the class. Exercises. Uh! Each class begins with an opening ceremony. I want you to stand up now and come to attention position. This is done by placing your feet together and your hands to your side. The next thing we'll do is a traditional salute. That is done by bending at the waist of a 45 degree angle and keeping your eyes on your opponent. And then back up. Next are the warm-up exercises. It's very important to always properly warm up before you start any kind of activity. These exercises will allow you to have maximum power and flexibility in your kicking techniques, and they should be done each time before you begin the class. There's a certain procedure you should go through. The breathing is the first. It's very important to breathe properly. You will take a deep breath in through the nose, inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the mouth as you do the stretch. As you're stretching, you want to hold the stretch position for 20 seconds. Never bounce, never jerk. Now let's begin. Upper body twist. Uh! The first exercise is the upper body twist. This is done to warm up the lower back and the sides. Spread your feet about shoulders width apart. Extend your hands straight out. Reach up with the other hand and grab the wrist. Keeping the arm very straight. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and stretch. Back, place the other hand out, again, inhale, exhale and stretch. And back. Now at home, I want you to repeat this exercise twice, each side, and hold it for 20 seconds. Twist and stretch. Uh! 
The next exercise is a twist and stretch. This is done for the hamstrings and inside the legs and also the lower back. Spread your feet apart about two shoulders width so it's comfortable but you can feel a little bit of a stretch. Take a deep breath in, twist to one side, exhale. Up, twist the other side, exhale and stretch. And up. At home, again, repeat each one twice and try to lay your chest along your thigh. Hold the exercise for 20 seconds, remembering to breathe. Leg and abdomen stretches. Uh! The next group of exercises are done while sitting on the floor. So just have a seat on the floor. Take your left leg and extend it straight out and pull the right leg alongside so that the foot is along the inside of your thigh, keeping the right knee flat on the ground. When you're doing these exercises, keep your back straight and remember to breathe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach out, keeping your head up, and try to reach out with your chest as opposed to down. Take a deep breath and sit back up. And we do the other leg. Extend your right leg straight out and pull the left foot alongside. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and reach out. Remember to keep the back straight and the head up. And up. Abdomen bending is next. It's done with both legs out. Put your feet straight out together. You want to keep your knees locked throughout these exercises. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and reach out. As you stretch forward, remember to let the air out and then hold the stretch position. What you do not want to do is to tilt your head forward and reach down head to knee. Keep the head up and reach out with your chest and then down. And up. Next is split leg and stretch. Spread your legs apart very widely and sit forward. This is for the inside and the hamstring. Take a deep breath in and exhale, reaching forward, not down. Try to keep your back straight and your head up. And up. At home, be sure and do each one twice. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds and remember to breathe. Bridge from sitting. Uh! The next exercise is called bridge from sitting. From a sitting position, place your hands behind you about shoulders width apart. Then pull your feet up and spread them also about shoulders width apart, keeping the feet straight ahead. Take a deep breath in, exhale and push your stomach toward the ceiling. We're stretching the lower back the opposite direction from the previous exercises. We're also stretching the shoulders and the thighs. And down. Remember to do each one twice, and again, hold it for 20 seconds, and remember to breathe. Kicking stretches. Uh! The next group of exercises are specially designed for your kicking. You need a partner for this drill. Squat down. Your partner places the leg up on your shoulder, holding both hands for stability, and stand up very slowly. Hold it for about 20 seconds, then let the leg down slowly. Repeat with the other leg. Next is a side kick stretch. Turn sideways and place the foot back up on the shoulder, rolling the hip over so the foot is pulled back and downward. And again, stand up slowly. Hold this also for about 20 seconds. Then let the leg down very slowly. Make sure you do both legs. Anytime you're working with a partner, be very careful not to suddenly stand up or suddenly drop the leg. You might injure them. If you don't have a partner, we'll show you how to do it from the floor. Side split. Uh! If you don't have a partner, you can do the front kick and side kick stretch from the floor. Simply get on one knee, extend your stretching leg out to the side, and then stretch toward it. Put your hands on the floor to support yourself so you don't overstretch. Hold the exercise 20 seconds, then repeat the other leg. The side kick stretch is the same, except you turn sideways. Stay on the knee, stretch out to the side. Turn your foot sideways and hold for 20 seconds. Then repeat with the other leg. Fighting stance. Uh! The most practical stance in a real-life self-defense situation is the fighting stance. To get in a fighting stance, just step back with your foot so that it's about shoulder width from heel to heel. Keep your heels in the same line. Make sure that your back foot is pointing to the side or perpendicular to your opponent. Your front foot is pointed straight at your opponent. Your weight is distributed 50-50. Your knees are slightly bent. Extend your front arm straight to your opponent. 
Drop the elbow straight to the floor, bending the elbow at a 90 degree angle. Keep the forearm about 45 degrees to the floor. Take the front hand and tilt it to the inside so you're looking just slightly behind the back of the fist. The fist should be about mouth or chin level. The back hand should be a fist protecting the solar plex. The elbow and hand are in a line with your target in a natural position. Now I should practice some actual techniques with the class. On the tape, we do each one twice. At home, I want you to do just twice for the first week then increase it to four to eight, and then go to 10 and 12 for the remaining two months. The first will be the fighting stance. Before we start, all techniques begin in a ready position. Put your hands together, one inch apart at the belt or your belly button. When you step back in a fighting stance, do a loud yell. Ready? <coughs> go back, again. <coughs> now the other side. Ready? <coughs> again. <coughs> and go back to ready position. Proper fist. <laughs> to make a proper fist, first extend the fingers, then place them together, bending each knuckle joint. Roll the fingers up as tightly as possible. Lock the thumb over the first two fingers and clench your fist tightly. Back fist. The quickest striking technique in karate is the back fist. Pull your hand in close to your body, point your elbow to the target. Extend your arm almost completely out, striking with the back of the two largest knuckles. Be careful not to lock the elbow. Come back to the same position and then back into a guarding position. Now the back fist at fighting speed. Try to snap the fist back twice as fast as it goes out. Now let's practice a back fist strike. Go to your ready position. Your opponent is now to your side, so I want you to turn your foot to the side and pick your hands up in a guarding position. The back fist. Ready? <coughs> now we do offensive back fist. That's when you're stepping towards your partner. Take your front foot and step, pull up, you're still in a fighting stance, then you execute the back fist. <coughs> now quickly. <coughs> turn. <coughs> Defensively first. <coughs> Again. <coughs> now offense. <coughs> Again. Uh, and back to a ready position. Reverse punch. Uh, the reverse punch is a power hand technique as opposed to the snapping technique of the back fist. Much of the power is generated by the acceleration of the body and twisting of the hips. First, shift your weight to the front leg. Now twist your hips 90 degrees. Take your punching arm and extend it straight out to the target, then snap your hand palm down. The striking surface is the first two knuckles of the hand. Keep your wrist straight and your posture erect. Return to a fighting stance. The reverse punch at fighting speed. Reverse punch is also done from a fighting stance. Go to your ready position, step back your right leg into a fighting stance. <coughs> and punch. <coughs> Again. <coughs> Chain stance. <coughs> punch. <coughs> Again. <coughs> and back to ready position. Front knife hand strike. <coughs> the most popular and well-known karate hand technique is the knife hand strike. The knife hand is formed by extending the fingertip straight out. Take the center of your palm and extend it outward. Now bend your fingertip slightly forward. Pull the thumb back along the side of your hand and bend it. The striking surface is the fleshy tissue of the hand just above the wrist. A front knife hand strike is executed by pulling your striking hand back above your opposite shoulder, palm toward the ear, and extending the opposite hand toward your target. To strike, Extend your elbow out toward your target. Then snap your hand out and down as you strike the target. Pull the back hand quickly to your ribcage. The knife hand strike at fighting speed. Let's practice the knife hand strike with the front hand. Go to your ready position. Step back with a loud yell to a fighting stance. <coughs> ready to strike. Again, uh, chain stance, uh, 
Uh. Ready to strike? Uh. Again. Uh. Ready position. Rear knife hand strike. Uh. The knife hand strike can also be executed with the rear hand. Bring your striking hand up to shoulder level. Open your hand for the knife hand strike. Shift your hips the same as the reverse punch and twist your hips 90 degrees. Snap the chopping hand down and across and snap the palm up as it strikes the target. Keep your opposite hand in the same position to guard your face. The rear knife hand strike at fighting speed. Next, let's practice the knife hand strike with the back hand. Ready position? Step back in a fighting stance with a loud yell. <coughs> and strike. <coughs> Again. <coughs> Change stance. <coughs> ready to strike. <coughs> Again. <coughs> back to ready position. Cobra strike. <coughs> The cobra strike is similar to the reverse punch. Shift your weight forward, twist the hips. The striking arm extends straight out to your target. Spread your thumb and fingers apart, tilting your wrist slightly upward. The striking surface is between the thumb and finger. Strike to the throat area. The cobra strike at fighting speed. Now let's practice some cobra strikes. Go to your ready position. Step back into a fighting stance with a loud yell. Uh! Ready? Uh! Again. Uh! Change stance. Uh! Ready? Uh! Again. Uh! And back to ready position. High block. Uh! A basic karate blocking technique is the high block. Cross your arms at the wrists with the back of the hands together, arms straight. Your wrists are about level with your belly button. Step back into a fighting stance. Snap your blocking hand up over your forehead about six inches above the head. Your hand should be slightly higher than the elbow, but not in front or behind. The wrist should be in line with your nose. The opposite hand should be pulled back tightly to your ribcage. The high block at fighting speed. Let's now work on some blocking techniques. The first one is the high block. Go to your ready position. Place the blocking hand on top, the back of the wrist together, and the arm straight. Step back into your fighting stance and block. <coughs> now we're going to go forward. Drop the front hand down, place the other hand on top, step forward, and block. <coughs> now we'll step back. Drop the hand down, other hand on top, step back, and block. <coughs> now in one motion, going forward. Ready? <coughs> now backwards. <coughs> And back to ready position. Inside forearm block. Uh! The most practical and most frequently used block is the inside forearm block. Take your blocking arm and pick it up to the side of your body, the same as a rear knife hand strike. Turn the palm of your hand outward and close the fist. Take your opposite arm and place it level with the floor, palm down in front of your chest. Step back into your fighting stance. As you pull your opposite hand back, your blocking arm should come across the body. Snap your arm, palm toward your face. Block with the outside edge of the forearm. The inside forearm block at fighting speed. The second block we're going to practice is the inside forearm block. Go to your ready position. Get ready to block. Step back and block. <coughs> now we'll move forward. Get ready to block. Step forward and block. <coughs> Now backwards. Get ready, step back, block. <coughs> now quickly forward. <coughs> and quickly backwards. <coughs> and back to a ready position. Knife hand block. <coughs> the knife hand is also used as a blocking technique. Take your blocking arm, place it over your opposite shoulder, palm toward your neck and ear. Your opposite arm extends straight out and toward your opponent with your palm down. Step back into a fighting stance. Pull your opposite hand straight back to your solar plexus and snap the palm up. 
keep your arm flat and level with the floor. Your blocking arm comes across your face and snaps palm out. Your elbow is bent 45 degrees to the floor and 90 degrees at the elbow. The blocking surface is the fleshy part of your hand. The knife hand block at fighting speed. The last block we're going to learn is the knife hand block. Go to your ready position. Get ready. Step back and block. <coughs> now we'll move forward. Get ready. Step forward and block. <coughs> Now backwards, get ready, step back, and block. <coughs> Forward quickly, ready, <coughs> and backwards. <coughs> and back to ready position. Front snap kick. <coughs> One of the most effective kicks for beginners is the front snap kick. We recommend slow kicks to really isolate and think about the mechanics of the kick. Slow kicks also help develop the muscles for the kicking technique. Pick the knee up and bend it very tightly and point it to your target. Extend your leg out to the target, then back and down. Again, pick your knee up, bending it very tightly. Pull the toes up toward the shin bone. Extend out and back. Again, pick your knee up, extend out, hold it. The striking surface is the ball of your foot. Caution, do not fully extend the leg or lock the knee. The front snap kick at fighting speed. Now let's practice the front kick with the class. First, we'll do it slowly. Put your ready position. Put your feet together and pick your hands up. Pick your knee up and bend it very tightly. Extend out, back, and down. It's not important now how you kick, just nice and slow. Pick your knee up, out, back, and down. Now the other leg. Pick your knee up, bend it, extend out, back, and down. Pick your knee up. Out, back, and down. Back to your ready position. Now let's work on the front kick fast. Go to your ready position. Pick your hands up and put your feet together. Ready, kicking. <coughs> Again. <coughs> now the other leg. <coughs> Again. <coughs> and back to ready position. Next, we'll do it from fighting stance. Your opponent is to your side. Turn your foot and pick your hands up. First, without moving. Ready? <coughs> Again. <coughs> Next, we'll do it moving across the floor. To do this, you shift your weight forward, and you pick, skip your back foot up to your front leg, and pick the knee up. And then you kick out and back, and step down. Now, quickly. <coughs> and turn. <coughs> without moving. <coughs> Again. <coughs> now, moving across the floor. Shift forward, skip up, and kick. Now quickly, <coughs> and back to ready position. Another way to do it is kicking with the back leg. Go back into your fighting stance. This leg will now kick. Turn your body to the front, keeping your hands up. You'll pick up, kick out and back, and then go back to where you were. Now quickly, <coughs> and turn. <coughs> turn to the front, pick your leg up, kick out and back, and down, now quickly. And back to ready position. Wheel kick. <coughs> A more advanced kicking technique is the wheel kick. Shift your weight forward and twist your hips and back foot to the front. Pick your hands up in a guarding position. Swing your back leg to the inside of center, then across and out and back into a guarding stance. Keep your kicking leg straight. Again, shift your weight forward and twist your hips and back foot to the front. Pick your hands up. Keeping the kicking leg straight, come to the left, out and back down. The striking surface is the heel or side of the foot. The wheel kick at fighting speed. Now we're going to work on the wheel kick. Before we do it in the class, I want to demonstrate how this kick would be used. Jack, if you'll come out and go into a fighting stance. The wheel kick comes up from the back side of your partner and strikes to the side of the face, or the back of the head. It's a downward motion and a sideward motion. It comes up and over, like this. Okay, now for the class. Ready position, step back into a fighting stance with a loud yell. 
You turn the front and then kick. Again, quickly. Change stance. Turn the front and kick. Now, quickly. And back to ready position. Side stomp. The side stomp is an effective technique for close in fighting. The side stomp is also a developmental stage for a side kick. Pick your knee up and pull it slightly to the inside. The kicking heel comes straight up toward your seat. Lock out in a hard stomping motion. The side stomp at fighting speed. Now we're going to work on the side stomp. The side stomp is an important developmental stage for the side kick. It's important to go through it so your leg understands the mechanics. Get you ready position. Pick your hands up and put your feet together. Now look to your side. Your opponent will be on this side of you. Pick your knee up and then stomp. Now quickly. <coughs> and look the other way. Pick your knee up and stomp. Now quickly. <coughs> and back to ready position. Side kick. <coughs> The most powerful kicking technique for beginners is the side kick. It is executed similar to the side stomp, except at a higher elevation. Pick your knee up and bend it very tightly. Pull your heel very close to your seat. Pivot on the ball of your foot, pointing your support heel, your seat, and your kicking leg to your target. Lock straight out to your target, striking with the bottom of the heel. Pull the knee back and down. Again, slow kicks help develop your kicking technique and leg strength. Your knee comes up, pivot, point your seat, support heel and kicking leg to your target, extend out, back and down. The side kick at fighting speed. Now let's work on the side kick. Go your ready position. Your opponent will be to your side. Put your feet together and pick your hands up. On the first count, pick your knee up and pause. Pick up and pause, and then lock out. Back and down. Face the other way. Pick your knee up and pause, and lock out. Back and down. Back to this side, now quickly. Ready, kick. <coughs> the other way, and kick. <coughs> Back to ready position. Next, we'll do it moving across the floor. Your opponent is still to your side. Pick your hands up in a fighting stance. On the first count, take your step and turn it sideways. Take the back leg and step behind. Point the heel to your target. Pick your leg up and lock out. Back and down. Face the other way. Take your step, the foot is sideways. Cross behind, pick up, lock out. Back and down. Face the other way. Now quickly. Ready, go. <coughs> And turn. <coughs> ready, go. <coughs> and back to ready position. High block and punch. <coughs> the high block and punch is performed if someone is attacking you with their fist, punching toward your face. Get ready to execute your high block. Step back into your fighting stance. Execute your high block, protecting your face. Punch with your backhand toward your target. The high block and punch at fighting speed. Now the class will work on the application and the techniques we've learned. For this section, you're going to need a partner. This side will be doing the attacks, and this side will be doing the defenses. The first will be the high block and reverse punch. Face your opponent and salute. Go ready position. I want the attackers to get ready to punch and we get ready for our high block. As they step forward, we step back in a fighting stance. As they punch, we do a high block and then we reverse punch and go back. Now quickly, ready, attack. <coughs> Again, ready, attack. <coughs> and back. Inside forearm block and back fist. Uh! A second self-defense against a punch is the inside forearm block and back fist. 
Prepare for the inside forearm block by picking your arm up to the outside. Step back into a fighting stance. Execute your inside forearm block. Execute a back fist. The inside forearm block and back fist at fighting speed. The next one is the inside forearm block back fist. Face your partner and salute. Go your ready position. As they get ready to punch, you pick your arms up for your inside forearm block. When they step forward, you'll step back in a fighting stance. As they punch, execute your inside forearm block and then back fist. Go back. Now we'll do it fast. Ready, attack. And back again. Ready, attack. And back. Defensive sidekick. A third self-defense for someone punching is the sidekick. Simply step back, feet together. As the attacker moves in, execute a sidekick. Now the class will work on the defensive sidekick. Face your partner, feet together and salute. Go your ready position. On this technique, when the attacker gets ready to attack, the defenders will step back in a fighting stance with their feet together. Attackers get ready. We step back, feet together. As they step in and punch, we do a defensive side kick. Pick up and kick. This can go to the solar plex. It can also go to the throat, or it can go to the face. And go back to your ready position. Get ready. And attack. Go back. Get ready. And attack. And go back to your ready position. Knife hand block and knife hand strike. A fourth self-defense for someone punching at your face is a knife hand block and a knife hand strike. Prepare your left hand for a knife hand block. Extend your other hand out for a knife hand strike. Move your left foot over to your right and turn it perpendicular. Then step forward with your right foot into a fighting stance. Execute a knife hand block and a knife hand strike. The knife hand block and knife hand strike at fighting speed. Now the class will work on the knife hand block and the knife hand strike. Face your partner and salute. Go your ready position. As the attackers get ready to punch, I want the defenders to pick their hands up to the side. They step forward and punch. The defenders move your foot over and then step forward into a fighting stance. Execute your knife hand block, then your knife hand strike. Go back. Now we'll do it fast. Ready, attack. Ah! Again. Ready, attack. Ah! And back to your ready position. Front choke self-defense. To defend yourself from a front choke, reach up and grab your attacker's wrist. Prepare for a cobra strike. Step back into a fighting stance. Strike out with the cobra strike to their throat. Then prepare for a knife hand strike. Execute a knife hand strike to the collarbone. The front choke self-defense at fighting speed. Now the class will work on a self-defense technique for someone choking you from the front. Face your partner and salute, and go your ready position. I want the attackers to reach up and choke the defenders. Defenders, reach up and grab the wrist, place your other hand on the ribs for your cobra strike. Step back in a fighting stance. Strike to the throat, then get ready and do a knife hand strike. Go back. Now we'll do it fast. Ready, attack. Again, ready, attack. And back to your ready position. Rear choke self-defense. Uh! 
to defend yourself from a two-handed rear attack. Pick your arm up straight above your head, placing your other arm in a punching position. Step back with your raised arm leg. Turn around on the balls of your feet. Point both feet to your opponent. Swing your arm to the outside and then back up, pinning your attacker's arms. Then execute a reverse punch to your attacker's solar plexus. The rear choke self-defense at fighting speed. Now the class will work on a self-defense technique for a choke from behind. Face your partner and salute. I want the defenders to turn around and face the opposite direction. The attackers reach up and grab the shoulders. Pick your hand up above your head, place it on the rib cage for reverse punch. Step back and diagonal. Turn around and pin the arms tightly, then execute reverse punch to the solar plex. Go back. Now we'll do it fast. Ready, attack. Ah! Go back again. Ready, attack. Ah! And go back to your ready position. Jump front kick. Ah! The final technique we're going to learn today is a kick made popular by the movie Karate Kid. Remember this? The way you would actually apply it would be from a fighting stance. You would take the back leg, pull the knee up tight, and bend it. This gives you the elevation for the jump. Jump off the support leg and execute a front snap kick. To add for the difficulty, I'm going to break some boards. I've had years of training before I tried this. Do not go out and attempt to break some boards. You could easily break a toe. Remember, practice twice a week for two months, and at the end of that period, you will have mastered the techniques that you've seen today.